Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I will be demonstrating for you how to display Microsoft Forms on your Wix site. Okay, so how to show a Microsoft Form display on your website and allow people to complete it. So I'm going to presume that you've already got a Microsoft Form that you want to do this with. Um, the tutorial won't cover how to create one of them. So once you've got your form completed, I've just used a template here for demonstration purposes. It's just a customer feedback survey template. And um, I'm in Microsoft Forms and I'm viewing that form now. Obviously, you can, you know, I'm going to presume that you've been able to get there. And what you'll need is to take a piece of code from here and embed that into your Wix website. Okay, just to give you an overview of what we're going to do. And to access that code, all you need to do is press the send button on the on your form that you want to embed. Okay, so once it's all completed, hit send, and then you want to hit these two little arrows here with the slash in between them. Okay, so this little circle down here, and when you hover over it, that actually tells you that's the embed option. Okay, so hit that. And then that will display the code that we need. Okay, and it even tells us copy this code and paste it into a web page or sway. Okay, so we just need to hit that little copy button. And the code is now ready for us to paste as it's confirmed. Okay, so I'll leave that tab open just in case we need it again. And then into your website, I'm just using a template for today's demonstration. And what you'll need to do is hit the add elements button in the website editor. Okay, so this little plus symbol here, hit that. And then you want to navigate down to where it says embed code. Okay, so we've just copied a little piece of HTML. Um, so I'm going to want to embed that on my website. So if I go over here and then um, Im if I click embed code, popular embeds, and then make sure you've got that popular embeds at the top selected and then hit HTML here. Okay, and that will just add a little box to the website and this dialog box pops up and it asks us to paste our code there. Okay, so I'm just gonna single click in there and hit Control and V or Command and V on a Mac. You can also right click and paste like that. And then update. And what we should see if it's been successful is that update now in the preview behind us. Okay, so if I'll close that a second and then the form is quite large. Okay, so you're gonna to want to create you know, a big space to house it. I'm just going to drag it so you can see it for today's purposes. And it works just like any other um, item on the Wix website editor. We've got these little spheres at the corners and the sides, and you can expand the size of it to make it a little bit more accommodating of the form size. You can see it's gone behind there. And then if I now hit the preview button, you can see sometimes I experienced this problem earlier where it doesn't update it just kind of gives you a link to fill the form in externally um, but you can see now the form is actually displayed there and it allows us to fill it in and then press the submit button obviously you're going to want to format it a little bit better than I have there so if I go back to my editor and just um, get rid of that little box for a second so we got some space and again you can just single left click it and move it around like any other item on your website and give it a little bit of space there You've got, obviously, the ability to go back and edit the code if you need and some basic settings there, okay? So um, you can automatically then stretch it to the full width of the page if you'd like to do so um, and add some margins, etc. So you can see that, um, you know, it's a little bit temperamental there to kind of resize. Um, okay, and we give it another preview. And there it is there, okay? It's a little bit better displayed. So you can see I can now interact with that form, complete it fully, and then press submit there, okay? And that concludes our video tutorial. If you want to get traffic and sales to your website for free, then be sure to click the link in the description below. I've dropped a link where you can get unlimited free Google Ads to drive traffic and sales to your website. It's 100% free and very easy to do. It's also completely legal for those of you who might be wondering. So if you need free traffic and sales to your website, claim your free ads down below. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, give us a subscribe and like the video. And if you've got any ideas for future videos, leave them as a comment below as well. Thank you very much.